to the side video again and <clears throat> this is a digital thermometer and we are going to see what's inside it and how is it built. Actually first of all I I was so excited that I, I, I just uh, broke away this uh, sensor to wire uh, connection and here but still the wire is living and it's working and uh, this <coughs> thermometer actually didn't have its display working properly so I suggested to go inside it and check out what happened and I was able to repair it but uh, in fact this uh, broke out uh, for it so if you see the built uh, quality then it's completely made of plastic with a metal over here and display and uh, this button and uh, this is of this is of easy care company and uh, we are going to see what's inside it and how is it working so first of all First, you need to remove this uh, back cover of any digital thermometer. It, it will, it is surely going to have it. And then remove the battery cell. And then you can just pull this out. But before that, you will have to remove this and carefully salvage it. So I'll just remove this, and I am going to salvage this. I think there's a analog temperature reading sensor over here and VCC ground wires. If you carefully observe, then there are two wires over here. If you can see, you can see that there are two wires. One of them is this, and this I think so. One is VCC, and another is ground. And in this way, it must be producing the analog readings. And then, after you have removed it, uh, and then you can just get this thing out. And here you can see that there is nothing remaining under so this is it what it is inside and uh, what I have observed is uh, the cell uh, would be remaining over here over here and there will be two metal plates which will be joining this in this way and one below it and in that way it would be giving uh, the power to this uh, metal uh, conductors over here to the circuit and in that way it would be working and and if you carefully observe the circuit, uh, what you can get is, I think, so over here, they have put the IC or the microcontroller, which is controlling everything. And here is the button's mesh. And actually, uh, if you look over here, over here, there was, there was this uh, little button type, which used to stay here. And if, if you would turn it on or whatever, then it would be, figuring it over mm -hmm. here and in that way it, it used to work and if I used to see then there is no single connection from the display with the IC and actually this is the temperature reader and it's uh, connecting I think so what I have observed is I, I don't know exactly but uh, what I have observed is uh, this sensor or whatever would be uh, connecting to this and it would be giving the uh, heat readings to this and it must be very sensitive piece of metal then only it will be working properly but the real wonder is how, how how did they manage to use the display even though it doesn't have a connection but when I carefully observed it what I saw is uh, there are this fine conducting uh, wires over here and they use this and in the display if I could see properly then uh, I found out a bit of this uh, if you see then I actually uh, removed this LCD panel or display and what I found was uh, over here uh, there were uh, uh, over here almost uh, invisible uh, little conducting uh, may, uh, element or sort of was there if you see carefully now you can uh, really see those conducting wires see and uh, that's what I learned that uh, it uh, used this conducting plate and it would uh, connect to it would it used to connect uh, this over here in this way using a completely metallic uh, conductor and in this way it used to work and th this is the what's inside of digital thermometer Thank you for watching and have a great day.